Hello everybody and welcome to episode 9 of This Old Knit. I'm your host Nina, otherwise known as Ine on Ravelry and Pinterest. And um, you can come and join our group on Ravelry, just search uh, This Old Knit. And um, thanks for coming back. I am definitely having a better week this week. Yay! Um, and I feel like I've got some energy back. So I took Friday off and the plan was that we were going to go camping. So um, <clears throat> Friday morning, we dropped the dogs off and um, we got everything together and got everything packed up and headed out. And Friday was gorgeous and we were having a really good time. Saturday, it was supposed to rain a little bit, but it was supposed to be a high of about 60 and that didn't happen. <laughs> so um, Friday night... Uh, Joshua started getting sick and Meglin was already, she's already had a head cold for about a week. Um, so he started getting really sniffly and about every 30 minutes he was waking up and crying. And so my husband and I just made the call on Saturday morning that we were going to cut the trip short and come home. Um, so we just packed everything up and luckily we beat the rain. And there's actually a local dairy around there. So we stopped there and we got ice cream. Um, they make ice cream from the milk from the cows there. And um, they also have a petting area. So all the baby goats were out. And I love baby goats. I had um, goats growing up. So um, they're very warm and snuggly and springy. And just um, really awesome little animals and uh, so we got to feed the goats a little bit and we saw a couple baby cows and it was just a good time so um oh well for the trip being cut a little bit short it was actually um really cold that day as well i think it only got up to like 45 degrees uh fahrenheit and that's without wind chill and the wind was blowing really hard so our fire kept blowing smoke in everybody's eyes and it just was not very warm or nice so we just didn't want the kids to get sicker than they were um, but we still had a good time it was um, fun going for the one day of camping my uh, no I haven't shown the Legos yet sweetie. all right we're gonna have the Megan Megwin segment early over here sweetie right here yep yep okay she mixed them up. <laughs> but, uh, I have something um, Jessica, who is uh, Jane BG1923 on Ravelry, sent me a surprise package, and that actually arrived on Saturday. So it was a nice surprise to come home and, uh, um, and then tilt my head I don't down. Have I got the a piggy weird... head. Oh, did you lose it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll go and get it. No, it's right here. It's on the... Oh, you don't have the girl's hair. It's right here. Oops. Oh. See? It's on the dino hunter. No, not the piggy helmet. The piggy head that goes inside the helmet. Oh, I thought this was the piggy head. I picked the no. wrong head. Okay, go get the different head. Do you want to take this one down? No. You keep it up there. Alright, I'll keep it up here. All right, to be continued. Dino okay. Okay. Um, so anyway, Jessica had sent me a little surprise package with two of the Lego minifigs. And um, actually, our Target isn't carrying them anymore. So I went today to our Target to see if I could get um, the unicorn, because I'm in search of the little unicorn. I'm probably going to end up having to buy the stinking thing. Um, like off of a site I think Amanda um, from Gnome Acres told me you know, she left a link in the uh, episode thread of uh, where I could go to buy it if I wanted to um, so I'll probably do that if I don't find it uh, but anyway back to my story I digress so Jessica had sent me two little figurines and she said that the woman who was at the store was really good at identifying them so she'd put on a piece of tape on the back of each one what she thought they were, and she was totally right, Jessica. I got the dino hunter and the um, piggy. And the piggy is like a little guy in a pig suit with um, a little apple. Um, so yeah, those are cute, and Megwin's been playing with them with the French Bistro, so she really likes them. 
um, and she's gone down to get the correct head for the piggy because they had their heads off when I went to grab them. So um, apparently I grabbed the wrong head. Hmm. Um, and I hear her coming back up now. So I have a little bit of a glare on my glasses, so I may take them off, but um, I don't have my contacts in, so I won't be able to see the screen very well. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, and I apologize. I had to kind of run up here because uh, Joshua was getting ready to take his nap. And if he's starting to settle down on my husband, like he seems <laughs> kind of on his chest for Here's a nap. Here's the piggy head. Um, thank you. Let me do Okay, it you put it on. Anyway, <laughs> so if he sees me when he's in the process of getting settled down for his nap, it's just like the reset button gets set and he gets mad and he screams and he reaches out for me. But he doesn't really want me. He just wants me to hold him for Mom, a moment and then he'll want me to go back on the floor. I'm the diner hunter. Okay. I figured you were going to do it. You're good at the heads. And I like her little scar head. But I like this. Alright, well you do it because your little fingers are better at manipulating those things. Um, so I kind of just grabbed Whoa. a bunch of stuff and came up here. And then of course Megwin noticed I was gone and followed Where's me. Where's your shotter? So... I only found the rare one. Oh, I thought her shotter was... You had it just a second ago. Here yeah. it is. Okay. <laughs> right. right on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's put the piggy head on and do the sharing because I want to get on with showing my knitting, sweetie. We <laughs> usually do your segment later so people can skip over it if they want to. <laughs> well, let's give him his apple. Good. Okay, thank you for hitting the proper head. All right, you ready? Okay. You bring it closer. There he is. <laughs> He's got a little apple in his hand. Go up here, sweetie. Right here. See that little dot? That's where the camera is. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the dino hunter. And she comes with a little... Scar head. Shot. And a scar head and an and arrow. scar head. Let me show her the scar head. <laughs> a scar head. <laughs> it's on the scar. And, ah. <laughs> oops, I've start. got my laptop up on a basket, so an arrow. I'm probably going to hit it a couple times. A crossbow. Yep, back it off. They can't see it. There you go. This okay. Crossbow. All right. Thank you for sharing, Megwin. <laughs> do you want to take those in your room and play with them? Of course I do. Okay. But what do you need? Okay. If you're going to be in here, you need to play quietly. So people can hear me. Alright. Yep. Yeah, and there you go. She's got a little, little set going on. So thank you, Jessica. Those were great and a good surprise. Um, and we like them. Um, so the dogs are still at the kennel. So no Plonky today. Or Cordova. You guys haven't seen Cordova. I haven't shared her with you. She's usually around uh, my husband because she's more his dog than my dog. And, yeah, so she doesn't follow me around. And I podcast upstairs, and she wants nothing to do with the stairs to come upstairs at all. She's happy to stay downstairs. She's a uh, Jack Russell Rat Terrier mix. So, yep, she's a cutie. Uh, so I have a bit of a sore throat also. Uh, the kids have shared their sickness with me, which is just lovely. So I'm hoping that it will stay up here and not progress anywhere else because obviously I've still got a lot of work to do uh, so I don't want to be kind of down for the count with sickness. Um, but so far it's manageable, just drinking lots of tea, uh, keeping the fluids flowing, and we'll see how it goes. And speaking of work, <laughs> I had a happy hour on Thursday, and in the course of conversation, podcasts came up, and I mentioned that I have one. Weirdness. Weirdness. I don't know. It was weird. But they were very surprised that, that so many people would be interested in watching knitting podcasts, 
which I thought was hilarious because I watch tons of knitting podcasts and I love seeing what other people do. And I couldn't really explain it to them other than to say it's sort of like a virtual knitting group. So I feel like I'm part of everybody's projects and stuff by at least watching their podcasts. I don't get to do knit nights, obviously, because of the kids. And um, I work a decent way away from my job. I have about a 30 minute commute each way and I think I've mentioned that before. But adding on to that, like staying out for a knit night, it just, I just don't wanna do it right now. So I do enjoy being able to still have a knitting community with all of you. So I appreciate you watching. Megwin, bring that to me. Don't rip my ball winder off. I will help you. Okay. Excuse me one moment. I was winding yarn, so there you go. I left it on her play stool. Because I usually use her play stools for one for propping up my Swift and the other one for my ball winder and I just use a basic royal ball winder. I've had this since I started knitting and it works fine for making yarn cakes. So my mom has a Strock ball winder and she loves it now. When she first got it I guess the drive band was worn out so it was making really weird weird yarn cakes but now it seems to be fine. So she's wound like some of the really big skeins for me. The ones that are like 600 plus yards in worsted weight. Um, those I need her to wind for me because mine can't handle it. Or I'd have to cut it and make two. So that was a lot of talking <laughs> and not any sharing. Let me close the door and I'll... Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to edit that out. If I can't, I'm sorry, it was pretty loud. Um, I dropped a fan <laughs> that kind of had fallen in front of the doorway. So for knitting this week, I've worked on a lot of stuff actually. So I've made really good progress. I thought I was gonna have an FO to share with you, but I'm not quite there yet. So my zigzagular socks. Obviously I've showed you the one finished one with the uh, Nice cable detail. And uh, I had started the second one in the last podcast, and here's what I have. So I think I have about 15 more rows, maybe, to do before I start the toe decreases. So they are mirrored. So this one is the right sock, and it goes down the outside of the leg. And this one is obviously the left sock. The stripes are not quite aligned. I don't really care about that. They're socks for me and they're going to keep my feet warm and they're going to feel fabulous. So I don't really care that the stripes don't perfectly match. That's okay with me. The heels you can see are slightly off. I did take away some of the ball so it was close to where um, the same starting point. But I mean I didn't want to waste too much of it pulling it out just to make my stripes match up. Because that could be mini skeins for my blanket. Um, so that's that. So I'll probably finish those up tonight and maybe be able to wear them to work tomorrow. Okay. Are you going to be quiet, Megley? I don't think we need the light on. Mom? Hmm? Is that you and, is that you and yes. Dad? Are yes. you getting married? That is us. That's right. Do I have the flowers in your hand? Mm hmm. Yes. A little flower. Yep. Here, we'll hold it up. This is what she brought in and asked if that's me. It is, in fact, me and my husband <laughs> when we got married. Um, these are flowers from my husband gr husband's grandma's garden. And this is like the garden behind the church. So, that will be in keeping with what I'll share later because. Um, Jessica had also asked in the what would you like to hear about thread how I met my husband so there you go I will tell the story but I'll wait till later after the knitting so if you're not interested you can stop Megan can get off the table you're shaking the camera can you play on that one thank you
Sorry, sweetie. I set up my camera kind of precariously. All right. I've also worked on my 10 stitch blanket this week. I got quite a lot done on this because I was using, or Megwin, don't turn on your walkie talkie while I'm doing this, please. Um, so I was doing this while we were driving to camping and I actually knit on it while we were sitting by the campfire at night because it was really easy to do. It's just garter stitch and 10 stitches back and forth and back and forth. So I went from the marker here all the way across did a mitered corner and all the way across here and I'm almost done with this side I just have this little bit so some good progress on that and the ball is slowly shrinking I put my needles together um, okay I have some stuff I can spray on it later it just needs to be oiled sweetie so here's the ball Um, for comparison, let's see, I threw another full ball in my bag because I'm always hopeful that I'll do more than I can. Does anybody else do that? You leave the house with way more knitting than you'll ever possibly be able to accomplish for fear that you might run out of knitting or get stuck somewhere and be there so long that you're going to knit through everything you have and go crazy because I do that. Um... Hasn't happened yet. However, I have gotten stuck somewhere where I was so glad I had my knitting. When I was pregnant with Megwin, my OBGYN got called to a birth and I was there waiting and waiting and waiting and nobody told me what was going on. Uh, and I had my sock that I was knitting on. So I just knit a whole bunch until they came and said, oh yeah, he's stuck. Um, with a birth and he'll be back in a little while and you can wait or you can leave and I was like yeah I'll leave but you could have told me like an hour ago What's so this always have your knitting with you doing? it would let it talk to the other walkie talkie if they both worked but they don't <laughs> maybe we can play them later okay because it needs batteries honey poor thing when she clears her throat she does a weird giggly sound it's very strange <laughs> <laughs> no, I okay. Should I stop the video so we can talk? Yeah. Okay. Oh, back. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, we will be playing walkie-talkie later, apparently. So I did a little bit more on the small thing sweater, but I don't think you'll be able to tell. It's just more of the, you know, shaping rows. It's just a slow knit. I think because it's a little bit, um, not the nicest yarn to knit with. It's cotton, um, and I think acrylic. So it's not that it isn't soft, but just like any cotton yarn, it kind of hurts my hands. And then working two strands together um, also hurts my hands a little bit. And I'm getting this weird like gap. Do you see that? Where like I'll do two rows and it'll be fine and then I'll get this weird gap. And two rows and it'll be fine and then I'll get a weird gap. I don't know why it's doing that. I've, usually my stockinette doesn't do that. But I don't know what's going on there. It's very weird. And it, you can kind of tell on the front side too. I'm not sure if I'm not just going to rip this out and restart it with a new yarn. Because um, I'm not really liking this yarn in this particular pattern. My other thought of what I could do, because I do have one other green yarn in my stash, is to use this. It's lime green. Crystal Palace Bunny Hop, um, and it's micro acrylic, micro nylon in Angora. Um, it says machine wash gentle cycle, so I don't know. I'm just not sure what my sister-in-law's up for as far as laundering, 
is concerned. So, I don't know, maybe I need to just ask her if she would be okay with a sweater that's um, hand wash or um, machine wash but on gentle cycle. I don't know, because I'm just not loving this. I'm not, I'm making myself work on it and I don't like doing that, especially for a baby knit. I don't know, I feel like everything about baby knits should be wonderful and fun and sweet and this is not that at all. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I do have other green fingering weights, so I could do some other fingering weight held double that has more um, wool content, maybe a sock yarn. That one wasn't a sock yarn, I just thought the tweed would be nice. And then I also worked on, oh, I was looking for this printout. Hermione's Everyday Socks. I also worked on my cross stitch. Uh, and I can't remember how much was done when I showed you last time. I mean, I worked on my Halloween town, obviously, because I'm trying to finish it up. It's so sad that the colors are really washing out because this, that, that color is like a bright magenta and it looks like just a dark purple here. And then this is like a lavender hand dyed. Yeah, it just doesn't look anything like these colors. I'll post a picture in the thread and you'll be able to tell how different it is. But I did her hair, which is nice because then that really kind of frames up her skin, her little green witch skin. So it's getting there. I don't have a ton more to do. And then my Once Upon a Time, I don't think that I've showed that in a little bit. And that too is getting there. So it's much bigger. Woo! So I mainly was focusing on the August block. Which is really hard to show because it's so big. And it's Bremen Town Musicians. So I've got some of the houses done, the donkey's head, the crest of the little chicken. Um, yeah, so it's not too much more to go. I should finish up the Rapunzel Square because I only need to do like her bow and the pot for her little flower thing and a little bit of her tower. I must have run out of that color when I was going because sometimes I I try to go till the very end of the piece of thread because they said that you'll have just enough of some of the colors to finish it so I try to squeak it but then that means I have weird little blocks where then I'll have to do one or two stitches but I don't have a ton to finish up on that one so maybe I'll try to finish that one this week <clears throat> I do want to get this one done because I want to get it framed for my goods room So that is pretty much all I worked on this week. That's quite a lot for me. I don't usually get that much knitting time, so I'm pretty impressed with how much I managed to get done. Um, so then I'm thinking about, as I'm gonna cast off these socks pretty soon, what am I going to work on next? So I want to do um, something for the pop culture cow that Yarnder Woman, who's Melinda, is hosting on her um, group and podcast. So I was thinking about doing um, Neville Socks, which is by Erica Luder. They're just kind of a textured knit pearl pattern. Um, I was going to do Hermione's Everyday Socks, but I don't know. I'm going back and forth. Either these or Hermione's Everyday Socks. And I wanted to use what I have left of the Little Bunny Fufu from the um, Little Bunny that I did, the bonbon I did for Megwin, because I've still got a ton. So here is what I've got left. It's a lot. This is definitely enough for socks for me. It only takes me about um, 
350 yards ish to make my socks so this should be plenty I don't think that the bunny took very much at all and um, this is from no makers and her skeins of yarn are very generous so and I could always do a contrasting heel and toe if I felt like I was um, run, starting to run out I'll weigh it and see how much I have before I start it can I count my froggies? Your froggies? <laughs> what froggies? The tiny ones. See? And I'll, and you sew this. Oh, oh, your purse? You sew this. Okay. And also the frog. Okay. Yep. So they're like little rubber frogs. There you go. Here's one. Mm -hmm. Here's another red one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tree frogs. And here's another green one. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is a little <laughs> pouch that, um, Grandpa. Grandpa Kevin brought. Yes. To make I'm not sure where he got it, but he <laughs> brought it on one of the trips when he came to visit um, my husband's um, stepfather, my father in law, um, brought this for Megwin. And she uses it for very small things, of which she has many. I'm going to put your frogs back in here, sweetie. Okay. Um, so those I might cast on. I, I um, only have two pairs of the Addy Sock Rockets, one of which is on my husband's gloves. Meglin, you're tapping the table. You're shaking the table, honey. Um... And I am specifically not taking them off because I want to make myself finish those gloves. So I told him I, I am tying up my special fun sock needles to make sure that I do these. So these are the only sock needles that I have in 2.75, which is my preferred size to knit with. So as soon as I finish those socks, I will cast on another pair because I always try to keep uh, something going. Hey, Megwin, can you please get down off of that? It's not safe, honey. Honey, we're going to have to get my doll. I'll, I'll get him down later. Um, the other thing that I am thinking about is casting on... Whoa, that looks crazy. That is not what it looks like at all. Casting on this. Oh, there it goes. Which is... Um... Bullen Vine Yarns, Blitz Space. This is a one of a kind colorway that she named Space Wizard. It's like a dark, dark purple with um, kind of hints of pinky color. <laughs> it looks electric blue right there, and it is not that color. It was closer to the color when I held it up here. But it's also not that dull of a purple. So, it's somewhere in between there. Use your imagination. Hey. Yeah. Okay, and you can see it has Stelina in it. Ooh, it's spark. <laughs> and I was thinking about making a silver with this. A silver shawl. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure yet. I also am thinking <laughs> about the penny candy tea. I have... Um, What's the penny candy tea? The penny candy tea is like a striped tea t-shirt with lace details so I was going to do that in just two colors not three either with uh, cream color for the lace and then um, cream and purple stripes or cream and orange stripes I can't decide um, so I don't know what, what I'm going to do next green and pink stripes? well I got green and pink stripes for you can you not stand on those pictures thank you they're glass sweetie Okay, so that's kind of the end of the knitting stuff that I'm working on um, and what I'm planning on casting on, no FOs, like I said, for this week. So I will move on to the um, question. So like I said, Jessica had asked how I met my husband and um, I met him at school. 
So we were both taking a philosophy of science class. It was our, I think, senior year for both of us, and we had transferred from other schools. So we had to make up basically, you know, every school has kind of a proprietary amount of credits. Yep, that's a lot of love. She has a slinky that's heart shaped, and she's stretching it. That's what um, you do with Slinky. Yeah. Um, how do you play with the Slinky again? Um, you put it on the stairs and let it go down the stairs. <laughs> I don't know if that one will do it, though, because it's just a tiny one. You try it, though. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, well, what do you do to okay, make it she go gone? down the stairs? Uh, you just tip it, and it's gravity lets it go down. Okay. So, every school sort of has its proprietary classes that you have to take so many of X type of credits and so many of this. So, um, we both went to a California school and they required a certain amount of, I think, um, philosophy classes and then women's studies and something else. So we had both taken the intro to logic class, um, not together obviously, and then we each had decided, oh, philosophy of science, that sounds interesting at least, I'll take that. And so the first week of class, I was taking a trip. So I asked the professor, I kind of stayed after class, and I asked the professor if there was any way I could get notes from her for what uh, was going to be covered that next week because I was going to miss it and I didn't want to not have the information and try to play catch up and stuff. And uh, my husband had stayed after <laughs> class as well and I think he was wanting to talk to me anyway. He was going to approach me. And so he overheard us talking and he said, oh, well, I'll take notes for you. Stop tapping the table, please. Thank you. Um... So he did, and uh, we made plans to meet up uh, after I got back so he could give me the notes. Please get off that plastic. Thank you. And they were good notes. They were very good notes. This is funny if you know my husband at all, which obviously none of you do, because he doesn't ever take notes. Like, ever take notes. So I didn't know that, but it was a huge thing for him that he made them all nice. He actually wrote them well. He has horrible handwriting, but he wrote them very neatly so I could read them. They were organized. He never took notes again in that class for the whole rest of the quarter. But um, he invited me to go to lunch, which I thought was just a, oh yeah, let's be friends. Like, let's hang out and have lunch. He calls it our first date, and I didn't even realize that it was a date. <laughs> but on this lunch not date, um, we talked about kind of what our interests were, and I said, well, well I like to play video games, because uh, at the time I was playing a lot more video games. I don't have time to do them now. I just, I have so little t time anyway that I choose to do knitting in that time. Um, it would have to either be knitting or video games, and I like knitting more, obviously. So, but anyway, at the time, I played um, EverQuest, which was an MMO. And so I said, oh, I play video games. And he said, what kind of video games? And I'm thinking in my head, don't say EverQuest, don't say EverQuest. And I said, oh, EverQuest. And he said, oh, my God, I play EverQuest, too. So we had a bonding moment, um, and we're both quite nerdy. We like um, like Star Trek and Star Wars and comic books and all of that good stuff. So um, we had quite a lot to talk about. And uh, yeah, things just kind of developed from there. Um, and uh -huh. we have been together now for 12 years uh -huh. almost. Um, yeah, and he's awesome. He's my best friend, and I love him to death, and I'm so happy that he's in my life. So, thank you so much for asking, Jessica. That's really nice that you wanted to know, and 
Now everybody knows. So it looks like Megwin wants to watch a movie and I don't necessarily have anything else to talk about. Oh, I do, I do. So I decided when I topped 100 subscribers on YouTube, I was going to do a giveaway uh, on the <laughs> group. Can I please have my movie? Yes, I'll turn your movie on in just a second because it's gonna be loud in here. So I'll finish up and then I'll turn on the movie for you. Uh, so I put started the thread in the group and you need to be a member of the group to win, but I am going to draw for the prize next week and I'm going to gift to one of you a Ravelry downloadable pattern of up to $10 value. And what I wanted you to do is just tell me what kind of pattern would you like to have if you won. I'm not going to hold you to it. I'm going to PM you when I draw your name and you can pick whatever pattern you want. It doesn't have to be the one that you said in the thread, but I always like these kinds of threads because it exposes me to a lot of new patterns that I don't know are out there. They're old yucky cough drops. I don't know where those even came from. I'm going to throw those away. Um, so yeah, I just like looking at them and adding to my ridiculously huge queue. Um, at some point if we do a cow, I was thinking if we get enough members and people would be interested in doing a cow, I might do a knit my queue cow. I heard about that from the Little Bobbins podcast. Um, Danny of Little Bobbins Knits was talking about that someone else, and gosh, I don't remember which podcaster it was. Um, I'll check and see if I can find out. It isn't one that I watch, but they were having a knit my queue cow. And I think that would be so inspirational. Like if you pick stuff that you think would be fun to knit, to actually see it being knit up and see it in different colors and different yarns and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think that would be fun. So if I do a cow, that's probably the first one that I'll do. And I've got a ridiculously long queue, so you pretty much could find anything you want. There's men's stuff, women's stuff, accessories, kids, babies, pets, um, home stuff. So no worries. You can find something, I'm sure, that would be fun for knitting. So with that, I will leave you for this week. I hope you all have a great week. And thanks for sticking around with me if you have through what has been kind of a low energy period for me. I'm glad I feel like I'm coming out of it. I'm feeling like I have a lot more energy. Um, my mom said that uh, my aunt's treatments are going better than they expected. So I'm really happy about that. Um, she also got the hat and she loves it. Um, so she posted in the thread that she loved it. But... Um, I'm very happy that she liked it. So anyway, have a great week. I will see you guys next week and happy knitting. Bye.